All right, so today is something a little different. <clears throat> if you'll notice, these are pedal covers. Typically on the 94 and up Mustangs, you'd see these. This is the accelerator pedal. This is the clutch and brake pedal. You'll notice this is extra. This one is an aftermarket. See, it doesn't say anything in the back. These are Ford. They got the Ford symbol and part number. And uh, these two were in the black car. I just took them out of that black car. Let me clarify the TT's lean because when it was a stick shift and I had an automatic uh, cover, which is about this size for the, this is actually the dead pedal. And um, I made it, modified it to fit. So now I have one kind of longer pedal for that car since it's automatic again. I had extra because I bought a couple kits over the years. Uh, this is the dead pedal. It cl clips into your bracket if you have one. Now on again, 94 up, they have them. Some Fox bodies have them, but in 1987, this car did not come with a dead pedal, which is pretty interesting, but like I think 88 and on, they had it. So today I'm not gonna try to hook this up. That's a little different uh, mechanism for the 94 up. Not gonna worry about the dead pedal. Don't need these. This one's kind of worn a little bit because that was the clutch one in my black TT Celine. So I'm gonna use these two. And what I'm gonna do, let me go over here so you can check it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to replace these rubber ones on the Fox body with those, which gives it a cool look and you'd be surprised how much better it feels under your foot. It feels a little more positive. So I'm gonna change those out real quick and then we'll proceed on. So the first thing is you just basically pull up on the old rubber ones and they should pop right off like that intact. Unfortunately, this one, it's just so old and brittle, it, uh, it broke. So typical of this rubber gets real hard and uh, pops off. But if you'll notice, it looks like this one's upside down from that one. That's just how they made these pedals. So I'm gonna go get my other ones and see if we can make them fit on here. All right, so this brake pedal went on pretty straightforward. What I like to do, you see how the back of this has the rubber folded over so it fits in there tight. What I like to do is come in here and get this side on first, pull it down real tight, hold it kind of at an angle and then turn it over like this. And then while you're doing that, take a little flat screwdriver, stick it in between the metal and this and literally just prise it over. And you'll have to massage it and work it. It helps you put a heat gun on it, soften up the rubber. Some people put soap and water to make it slippery, but I've found just by heating it up a little bit and using the screwdriver to pull it over, it goes right on. But this side is done and ready to go. This one may be a little tricky again because see how it's wider there at the bottom, but uh, I'll manipulate that on in a second and show you the finished product, but it's gonna look something like that which is really cool, gives it a nice modern upgrade. So after manipulating it a couple times, what I found the best way to fit is just to flip it upside down because that's how the metal look behind it, remember? And um, it fits in there super tight now. So let's see if I can do this, see there? really tight that's really tight and I pushed it a couple times to make sure and uh, yeah it's good you can definitely feel an increase in how the support is on it too so I like it so it gives it just a little bit of modern touch you know something subtle most people may not even recognize but I think it's pretty cool all right so I decided to go and do the gas pedal too the best way to do it there's two 13 millimeter nuts uh, studs in there you take the nuts off and then the top here is a little plastic bushing that holds a throttle cable. You just wiggle that out or take a screwdriver and pop it out. And then the cable goes right here through the top. Then you take this over here to your bench vise, which I'm going to do. And what you're doing is you see how that's got a head on it. This side doesn't. You want to put it in the vise. You want to drive this out with a punch. Once you have that all the way out, then this replacement piece goes on just like this. So pretty straightforward. I'm going to knock it out real quick. Check it out. 
That looks great. Like I say, if you really bothers you that this looks upside down, if you look at the stock Fox bodies, they look like that too. But if it bothers you, you can go in here and take an angle grinder and just cut a little bit of this lip off. You can turn this around and make it fit. I may eventually do that because my OCD kicks in, but for right now, it bolts on, it snaps on, it's really tight. And the gas pedal there, that is a very modern take and I like it.